Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, we're also going to go live on Instagram, so we're going to turn that on now. Okay, welcome back to Friday Morning Fuel. Uh, my name is Daniela. Thank you for joining me again this week. Uh, usually we make smoothies. This week we are doing something a little different. Uh, we are making no-bake protein bites. Um, so it's little, little protein bites that are a great snack for you to have uh, for yourself or for your kids, for the family. Uh, what's great about them is that you can keep them in the refrigerator um, for a couple days, uh, three or three to five days, uh, or you can freeze them. Um, so you can double up your recipe if you'd like, make extra, stick them in the freezer, and then you've got some snacks ready to go, especially when those munchies hit, right? And so past couple weeks, We've been talking about the importance of uh, fueling in the morning, having a good breakfast, but throughout the day, uh, when we get hungry, we tend to snack on foods that are overly processed, uh, but planning ahead, making some no-bake protein bites are a great way to have a good healthy snack on hand so that when your hunger strikes, you have something to go to. Okay, so this week uh, we are going to be using a lot of ingredients. Uh, so I've attached the uh, recipe guide on the Skype meeting invite. So for those of you that are on Skype, uh, feel free to grab that recipe. If you can't find it, um, let me know. It's kind of like at the bottom. You might see a little orange dot. So it's on there and you can grab the recipe. Don't get overwhelmed by the amount of ingredients. I know that it looks like a lot, um, but... Just remember that you know everything that we make in our Friday morning fuel is adjustable, right? Um, so make it about you, add the things you like, uh, leave out the things you don't like, uh, replace ingredients, just have fun with it. The great thing about nutrition is that you can make it all about you, make it your own, and that way you enjoy what you eat. Okay, so let's get started making our protein bites. Um, so we're going to start with a third cup of our on it protein. Um, so this is the plant-based chocolate protein. And for this recipe, you can actually use whichever flavor protein you like. So if you like uh, chocolate or vanilla or flavorless, uh, like I said, have fun with it. Use whichever kind you enjoy the most. Um, I like chocolate. I'm a 100% chocolate girl, so uh, I'm going to use chocolate. So a little bit more than a full scoop it's going to be a third cup this week so I'll add that into the bowl so we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients first so we've got half a cup of oats here so this is the fuel part of our snack here so if we think back to the past couple weeks we've talked about those four components of a balanced meal or snack right so we've got our fuel build protect and prevent uh, so we've got our protein powder in here for our build, and our fuel is going to be our oats. And we are going to add in some flaxseed here, which is going to be part of our protect. Those flax seeds and chia seeds. Uh, we're going to add in a tablespoon of chia seeds. Um, so this is just kind of, I got it all these. So both those flax seeds and chia seeds are going to be a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. Let's see, all of our dry ingredients minus the chocolate chips and cranberries. Uh, so we've got those. We're going to add some cinnamon. And you all know I love cinnamon. It says a teaspoon, but I like a lot of cinnamon. All right, so we're going to mix all these together. And then once you've got some consistency in your mixture, then we'll add in the almond butter, the honey, and the vanilla. So this can be a fun project for your kids or to do as a family together, or just for yourself. All right, so we've got our mixture here. So we're gonna add in our almond butter, which again is going to be part of that protect. Um, almond butter also has a good amount of protein in it, so we'll add to, to that build part of our snack. Grab a spoon this week so that 
my fingers don't get messy. All right, we've got some honey. And you can switch out that honey for either maple syrup, syrup or agave syrup if you prefer a vegan option. And then we will add in just a small teaspoon of vanilla extract. And actually, this is a new bottle. I'll have to take off this little lid there. Okay, so a teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're going to mix all that up. You kind of have to just be patient with the almond butter. It's very sticky, so just mix it all up until you've got consistency. It's just going to be form a, a dough here. And then we'll add in the chocolate chips and cranberries. And then we'll start forming our little bites. Or if you are my husband and make, want to make one big ball of protein bite um, and attempt that, uh, please take a photo and <laughs> send, send us a, a picture of it. And this is why I cook. <laughs> Still pretty new at this whole cooking show thing, so I don't have a lot of like topics of conversation while I mix my food. I'm gonna have to start having like guests come on the show. Maybe just my plants because I don't know anyone else. <laughs> So we've got our dough forming here. So what you're going to do, hopefully you all can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay. So got our dough forming here. What we're going to do is going to kind of like press it against the sides of the bowl. And then we will add in the chocolate chips and the cranberries. So those chocolate chips will be a non-negotiable for me. I love chocolate chips. We're doing a fourth a cup, so don't get too crazy with those chocolate chips. And then we are going to add a fourth a cup of cranberries. So with uh, the dried fruit, uh, like mentioned before, make it your own. Uh, have fun with it. You can cut up some dried apricots. You can do dried blueberries, dried cherries. Anything you like that you can make it your own. I'm going to use this little bit bigger spoon to kind of mix all these up. So again, mix it all up until you've got a pretty consistent texture or consistent mixture here. We're going to take the tablespoons, so we've got our tablespoon, and we're going to scoop out a bit of our mixture here, and we'll just start forming our little protein bites. I'm going to wash my hands one more time before I start touching the dough. I'm still here, just wash my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop some of our mixture out into my hand. And then I'm just going to roll it into a little ball. I'm going to it out into a little ball, roll it up. And there we go. We've got a little protein bite. I'm going to set it aside on my plate. 
I promise I won't make you all sit through the entire bowl. But um, once you've got all of your uh, protein bites formed, um, you can set these in the refrigerator to harden a little bit um, or you can eat them right away. But then you will have some good go-to snacks um, throughout your day, throughout your week. Like I said earlier, um, if you want to double up that recipe, you can and freeze them. And then that way you have some for a couple weeks. All right, everyone, so we've got a little protein bites here. I've got a couple made. I'm just going to go ahead and eat one. Very chewy. A little different than our usual Friday morning smoothies. Very good. Lots of different flavors. So, like I said, get creative with these. Have fun with these. Um, and these protein bites are just a great snack that is made of wholesome ingredients. Um, so you can rest assured that you're getting very dense nutrients in your snacks. All right. So make these. Let us know if you like them um, and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for joining me again today.